What's going on YouTube, ACL Official back again and up next in the review series, I'll be taking a closer look at Prada's mesh and neoprene trainers, also known as the America's Cup sneakers. This is actually going to be the first Prada review on my channel, so right now I'm just as curious as you to see how good these sneakers will be. So let's get straight into this one with the unboxing. The shoes come packaged inside a textured silver box with Prada's trademark logo on the front. Included are the usual extras, there's one little booklet and also one large waterproof dust bag. Now the very first thing I noticed when I picked up these Prada trainers was the weight relative to how they look. This kind of caught me by surprise because looking at them I expected them to be quite light but in hand you can really feel how solid they are which you could say is a testament to the build quality of the shoe. They're not ridiculously heavy or anything like that, just heavier than I'd imagined. Comparison wise, I'd say they're a similar weight to Louboutin sock sneakers. And just like those, most of the weight is carried around in the thick soles, which are almost two inches thick here. The overall design of these Prada sneakers is reasonably minimalistic, so there isn't too much going on. On the uppers are black neoprene socks, which feature the brand's signature red stripe logo. This sock element really does improve the shoe a lot comfort wise, which is probably why it's my favorite part. As we move down the uppers, you'll begin to see other fabrics being involved too. The midsection is predominantly mesh, which like neoprene is flexible and comfortable to wear. And what mesh lacks in elasticity compared to neoprene, it makes up for in breathability, which is great if you're on the move a lot. Rounding off the uppers are the nylon laces and heel loops, along with a matte black trim that's finished off with glossy Prada lettering. We can't forget the soles either. Like I said earlier, they are thick, measuring in at 45 millimeters, but to be honest, on feet, the soles don't look as exaggerated as they do on other designer shoes which have soles of a similar thickness. You do get that nice little height boost as well if that means anything to you. Like the rest of the shoe, the rubber sole has a simplistic appearance combining white textured sides and a black textured bottom with yet another Prada stripe. Prada's America's Cup sneakers fit true to size for me, so I would recommend anyone who's interested in purchasing a pair to go with your regular shoe size. And on that note, I do still have a few sizes for sale below retail price as well. So if you are looking to secure a pair, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram selling account at Mr. Closer Look. Here are some more on feet shorts for you to enjoy, and that will bring us to the end of another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you've been enjoying them in general. I try to keep things simple but still show you enough details in a way that allows you to get a good sense of what the products are like. Anyway, you already know I appreciate all the support and of course more videos will be on the way soon so stay tuned.